up guys, Crazy VR here today bringing you guys a commentary. Um, you guys probably probably saw me talking about this on Twitter a little bit. Um, yeah, my school went on lockdown. Um, so I'm going to tell you the story, I'm going to tell you what happened, and yeah. So, this happened on April 20th, so 420, um, out of all days really. Um, you'll, you'll know why I'm saying that in a second. Um, so, as you guys know, I split time between Votech and my actual school, BP. So, um, I usually get to school about 11 o'clock, um, and uh, I usually get to BP about 11 o'clock, but, so my, my morning class is EMT school, you guys know most, you guys should know this, you may not know it if you're newer, um, but regardless, uh, or if you didn't see my video about it, so you, you wouldn't know it. But anyway, so I usually get to school about 11, 11, like, like 10.56 is actually the time I usually sign in. So, for whatever reason, I was running late. Um, this is a Wednesday, I don't know why I was running so late. But um, I remember I walked in, because usually what it is is I go in, sign in, get changed into my school uniform, and then go to my locker and then go to my favorite teacher, Father Kelly's room. Um, just hang out there, because his, his classroom's right across the hall from my, my first class. So, um, that day I drove, and um, so I was running late. I was already in my uniform though, so I was, I was good. So, I sign in, it's 11.04. I, I don't know why I remember that time specifically, probably because of the events of the day. Uh, and then I realized we're on a Bell 3, which is our assembly schedule, so I can't go to Father Kelly's room just yet because... He, there's a, he has a class, so I go to the, what we call the Father Atkinson Center, which is like a library and like you can study in there. So I'm in there. No sooner do I walk in and explain that I'm from Votech and that I, I don't have, I'm not supposed to be anywhere, then we go on lockdown. They announce that it's a drill. So our sisters, like the sister working in the the uh, the, the, the the Father Atkinson Center. Is like, all right, we're gonna lock down, whatever, no big deal. So we thought it was just a drill for the first. Like, I I knew it wasn't a drill because I saw a cop, and I was like, they would not have called the cops for that uh, for a drill. So I kind of figured it wasn't a drill. Um, and I also knew because the period was over in five minutes and we were in lunch periods so they wouldn't have done a lockdown drill in lunch periods. So I kind of knew it like almost right away that it was real. Um, I didn't know what was going on. I knew that there wasn't like a shooter in the building or something. Um, there was no bomb because we would have been taken outside not locked in our classrooms. So I was like okay so probably nothing too serious I'm, I'm probably not at risk here so I was right um, so we're sitting there for about an hour and a half and then they take they lift the lockdown and put us on what's called a shelter in place which means we're free to move around our classrooms but we still are locked in the classroom so it sucks um, so yeah I'm talking to the sister she's asking me she's asking me about because somehow I got talking to talking about the firehouse and the ambulance court she's asking me about it I'm talking about it for a solid half hour at least. Then we watch as they take, take a freshman student out in handcuffs. Um, now I know the girl's name, I'm not gonna say it because it's obviously they're protecting her identity so I could probably get in trouble for it. But anyway, um, we, we come to find out, now we had we knew this about while we were still in lockdown, or while we were still in shelter in place. We come to find out that uh, there was a student that w at the trolley stop that witnessed a drug deal, and apparently one of the kids had a gun. Um, so they went to the administrative staff about it, and uh, they put us on lockdown. So the hour and a half that we were on lockdown, they searched every locker with canines. Um, there was uh, six cop cars. I don't know how many cops are in each car, but. At the, there was seven at one point, um, but there were six for most of the time. Um, 
five kids got arrested, all got expelled. Um, one girl, they found a gun in her locker. So uh, it was a nine millimeter loaded, apparently. From what I understand, it was loaded. Uh, I don't know if it was loaded, but there was ammunition uh, next to the gun. So I don't know how stupid you can be to bring a gun to school. And uh, but anyway, so they um, they took the girl, the the girl and the four guys out in handcuffs. Um, I only saw the one girl get taken out in handcuffs, but she got put in the back of a paddy wagon. Um, so yeah, uh, and then. But we were on shelter in place for an hour and a half. We found out that they were looking for two, two people, I think, one or two people. Um, apparently they had ran, so that's why we were on shelter in place. Once they finally found the person they were looking for, they lifted the shelter in place. We didn't have any, I didn't have any classes that day. It was nice. Um, apparently one of the teachers was teaching through the whole lockdown, uh, the chemistry teacher, so, yeah. But, I didn't have any classes. It wasn't really that scary. Um, because obviously, like I said, we didn't hear gunshots or anything. We knew it wasn't an active shooter, so I wasn't scared. Most people weren't really scared. Um, the only thing we could hear was radio chatter from the police officers' radios, and I could hear the canines. And I really wanted to pet one, but I felt that wouldn't be a good idea. Um, but anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be down to for below. As always, guys, I'm crazy VR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See ya.